I'm Hazen Adel. Join me on my ambitious adventure in Guyana as I take you through 500 miles of the Amazon's deepest and wildest terrain on a journey to reach the Atlantic coast. I might die doing it, but it's the ultimate. During my journey, I come across some of the most incredible creatures. Here are just a handful of the amazing wildlife I encounter. First up, while trekking through the Kanuku Mountains, I spot a tarantula that's the biggest of its kind. Is anybody home? Oh my God. <gasps> it's huge. Oh my God. So that is the Goliath bird-eating tarantula. The biggest spider in the entire world. When this huge creature feels under threat, not only does it bear those big venomous fangs, it can fling those stinging, urticating, whoa, did you see that? Did you see that? That's what it did. If they get into my throat, go into my eyes, <clears throat> pretty much day over, it's, uh, it, it's like putting poison into the air. So you just try to blow them away. Go, get back in there. Go, 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 go. Ugh. An amazing creature but they give me the heebie-jeebies. As I cross the sun-baked savanna on horseback, we stumble upon an animal that spooks the horses. Whoa! Anaconda, right there. Whoa! Ah! Here, you can see those just rows and rows of really sharp teeth. Those are jaws that mean business. The snake stays hidden in murky water like this, once it submerges itself just a little bit below the water, it just simply disappears. And these snakes can easily eat an animal size of a pig, wandering through these waters, getting a drink of water and boom. And it would constrict that prey to death so it couldn't breathe, stops the blood flow of that animal. The animal eventually passes out and then the animal is safe to eat. It'll find its head and then eat whatever it caught head first. At the start of my journey, I pass through dense jungle. It's here I discover a creature that looks like it came right out of some sort of horror movie. It just ran into this dark hole. You wanna talk about one of the strangest creatures I think lives on this earth? Don't miss this. So these creatures are so incredibly well adapted for living in the darkness of the jungle. They're called tailless whip scorpions. When these creatures are out hunting, they spread out their legs and it can simply just assess the area. When it finds something like a small lizard that's sleeping, it snags that prey, brings them into the jaws. It's gotta be one of the most bizarre creatures in this world that I've ever seen. Watch this. Gone like the wind. Creepy, huh? Nighttime on the savanna, and I have nowhere to make camp. Little do I know, I'm about to have one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I'm getting ready for bed, and I saw a big brown animal. I couldn't quite make it out. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a giant anteater. I just saw one of the most spectacular animals I've ever seen in my entire life. A giant anteater. Did you see the tail? Did you see the markings? Did you see that long snout? They have a jaw that's fused shut into a tube with a long tongue. And they have these powerful, powerful claws, tear up the ground, tear up bees nests. It eats termites. Ants and bees. This is why I'm here. I hope I push the record button. So now you've got a taste for some of the most fascinating wildlife that I see during my 500 mile journey across the Amazon. It takes patience, skill, and endurance to survive nature's toughest conditions. Could you survive? Join me, Hazen Adele, on an unforgettable life-changing journey in the brand new season of Primal Survivor Escape the Amazon, only on National Geographic. <laughs>